Hi friends, in this video we are going to simulate the sensorless speed control of BLDC motor using EN and back EMF prediction method. If you want this model, you can download it from this website or the same link is given in the description box, you can use it. Okay, uh, these two are the fields that we are going to work with. Uh, first of all, we shall look into the BLDC uh, speed control using PA controller from that we will be uh, deriving the uh, values okay right so this is the normal speed control of BLDC motor using PA controller uh, if you look at the blocks you can easily uh, find it out uh, this is the reference speed and it is compared with the actual speed this is the PA controller then we have uh, the blocks for generating uh, the gate pulses okay here we are getting gate pulses and this is the decoder block uh, the input of the decoder block is coming from the all effect input all effect sensors right See, in a sensorless control, we won't be having any Hall effect sensor. Rather, the uh, gates will be produced based on the back EMF. Okay. So, the thing that we are supposed to do is, we have to measure the back EMF of the BLDC motor. Um, and by doing some calculations, uh, we need to produce the gate pulses. Okay. That, that is the thing that we are going to do. So, uh, either we need to have a mathematical model to produce the gates or we need to uh, do the same thing by using ANN, artificial neural network okay uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to replace this decoder block uh, and from the back emf we are going to uh, get the uh, gate pulses right so basically we are going to remove the hall sensors from the uh, bldc motor so that is uh, the sensorless control of BLDC motor. Uh, so for that we are getting the uh, EMF, EMF, back EMFs and it is given to the workspace, right? And at the other side, we are calculating the output of decoder block and it is sent to the workspace, right? So just the output of decoder block uh, is sent to the workspace right okay right uh, we shall uh, simulate the model now yes the simulation has completed so these are the uh, output of decoder block now what we have to do is we have to just uh, uh, measure these values and that has to be uh, sent to the workspace for uh, uh, tuning of ANN model right on the other side we will be taking out the EMF values uh, back EMF values so uh, that those values are calculated are measured uh, from the output of uh, BLDC motor so here we have uh, uh, ways to take out the back EMF so see here we have back EMF so the uh, corresponding port will be available at the decoder side bus selector okay so from that value we are uh, uh, sending the back EMF, I mean, from the uh, port of bus selector, you are sending the values of back EMF to the workspace. As I told you, the back EMF and the output of decoder blocks are available. Right? Okay. So, before training, we are supposed to uh, transpose the uh, EMF and output values. So I am selecting uh, all the three columns and I am transposing it. 
Okay. Right. We have transposed everything. Now we have to select the NN tool. EMF is the input data. Out is the target data. So we need to create a new network. So I have clicked the new. This is the input and output. You can name it in the way you like. Okay. Uh, the number of uh, layers I am selecting two. I am giving two here. Then I am creating the network. So this network is available here. We just double click it. And now you have to train the model. Input is EMF, output is target is out. Okay, train. So now that the uh, ANN model is getting trained, we can see the regression. So here uh, the value should be near to 1. So if the value is near to 1, uh, the system is very accurate. Uh, having the values above uh, 0.8 is equally good. the uh, ANN AN model is getting trained. Now the training has completed, uh, so we shall export the model uh, to the workspace. So this is the desired network. Export. Okay. So see here, it is available at the workspace. Right. So now. We have to uh, bring this to the sibling environment. Yes, see here, uh, this is the trained model. Uh, the inputs uh, are the back EMF values and output uh, is the output of decoder block okay right so we need to uh, take this model alone and it has to be yes it has to be brought to this uh, sibling model okay So I already have uh, created this model. So I have pasted the same block here. Okay. Right. See here, uh, the inputs uh, are the back EMF values. 
of uh, BLDC motor and the output is uh, the output of decoder block. Okay. So the output of the ANN model resembles uh, the output of decoder block. Um, so remaining things are the same. Okay. See here, as you can see, there is no Hall effect sensor here. We are not taking any input from the Hall effect. Okay. Hall effect sensors. So this becomes the sensorless model. Let us simulate it, whether it is working or not. Yes, see here, we are getting the output similar to the decoder block, right? Now let us see the speed, whether it is getting settled or not. Our reference speed is 1500 RPM, yes. See here, our reference speed is 1500 RPM. Uh, it is getting settled exactly at uh, 1500 RPM, see? So that's the advantage of sensorless uh, control of BLDC motor using ANM. Okay. Uh, so the same file is available for download from my website. If you want, you can download it and use. Please uh, support our channel by subscribing and sharing it to your friends. Thank you.